All right, welcome back everybody and anybody that's new here. Uh, glad you could join me today. Today is going to be a real simple one. You guys seen it in the title and description. Um, basically, what I'm going to do here is, well, I have, I'm staring at something that I definitely want to share with you guys because it's got me very excited for the spring. All right, so if you follow me on my Instagram, um, I'll put it right here at dwsdave31. Um, you seen that I got something recently, and I asked a bunch of you guys what it could possibly be. Um, we're gonna kind of give you a little bit of a, you know, a hint. But if you guys could comment below what you think is in that thing, and uh, yeah, I'm sure some of you guys have already figured it out. But we're excited, so let's get to unboxing this thing and getting it set up. All right, so you guys comment below. I'm going to give you hint number two. This is the last Revo that I need to change out from my ice fishing gear. Um, if you guys can't comment below yet what's in here, and everybody should know what's in this thing, <laughs> but the question here is, what is it? Like, what is it for, I guess you would say? Um, We'll find out in the comments below, but I'm gonna get to unboxing this thing because I got to get it set up So I can get ready for uh, some very specific stuff. We'll get around to that Okay, so Let's just Would you just look at it? Oh, there are some details Ooh, I'm so excited oh, let's, let's talk about this guy a little bit Ah! Okay, so you guys have seen my Apex rod. This is my panfish rod. Uh, just a standard Apex model from Tuned Up Customs. It is a 7.2 light action. And I've been using that. Well, you guys will see. <laughs> I've got some videos coming out where I've already been using that this year. I used it all last year, done a review. Go back, check those videos out. Open water playlist. It's got everything. Binge watch it please uh, you'll see why I like this one so much but I just I don't know I don't know what to say I don't know what to do my brain is frying oh my god the customs and yeah so that's a 7-2 apex elite so this it's my new dedicated walleye rod. And then let's see if we can get the specs for you. So 7.2, medium light, fast action. Uh, it was a quarter to three eighth ounce and a six to 14 pound line. This is gonna be my walleye workhorse. And I wanted to show you it up here because this room is very small. So I'm gonna try and step back here a little bit. You can see I already have that on one of my other rods that I have but I have three of these reels specifically. So that's my panfish one. That's just a do-all. And then that guy right there is going to go right on that one. I'm going to start it out with six pound test this year. Go light. But right now I just want to talk about how perfect this thing looks. Um, obviously you guys know I work with Tuned Up Customs. And I'm lucky enough to get to use their gear I mean this is just an amazing thing but one thing I wanted to show you about this one and I want so this is why you get tuned up customs I got this as custom as I could get it I had to pull some teeth <laughs> but I did get it done um, let me get the list here I'm gonna read this off for you okay so starting here so this is the base of the rod right here to that mark and we'll go down uh, we'll go down the line the first line is yellow neon that's an 8 inch marker the next one is silver that's 9 the next one is 10 the next one is 11 12 13 14 15 and then we jump over to 18 so that next one is an 18 inch uh, we got 19 20 so that's uh you got 18, 19, and 20. Then I went with 25 through, what is that, 28. 
and then the last one is 30. So I had him do those custom colors so that I can measure fish. This obviously isn't official, so don't, don't go tearing me apart in the comments. This isn't like a bump board or something. But this is one of those things where like, so like if I was out using this thing, and I want to use this for a multiple uh, purpose rod. So I'm going to be using it for drop shotting. I'm going to be using it for jigging. I'm going to be using it for a lot of things other than just walleye, but that's going to be the main reason I'm using it. But a lot of things I do involve 8-inch panfish out to 15-inch panfish. And the thing is, is, you know, if, if I measure a crappie or something and it's over that, we got to get some photos, we got to get some measurements, some official stuff. That's why you get that done. Uh, some of the state rules for like walleye, like 18 inches and above or 15 inches and above, those are the reasons for those. I'm going to have a bump board to throw that stuff on, but it just kind of, you know, quick measurement, either throw it back, get in the water as fast as possible, or throw it on that bump board, because if you're going to keep them, then you can do it quicker. And then obviously, these are my trophy lines. So I've already got one over 30. You guys can go see that. Uh, that's an ice fishing 30. I still haven't beat 30 for open water. Last year uh, in the fall, if you guys check out my Instagram, like I said, I had a 29 and like 7 eighths. I'm not one of those guys that like manipulate the tail a bunch to try and get it to fit. So if I beat one, it's going to be verified with that first. I'm going to get all the other stuff out to get it to verify. And uh, hopefully this is the rod to do it. I'm excited. And uh, yeah. All right, guys. So as you can see, I've... Uh, I've thrown that reel on here, and that was a big thing I wanted to do, was get this set up, and then, uh, I mean, come on, the, the, the jig, stinger hook, what else is it going to be for? I'm going to go chase some walleyes with this thing real soon here, so hopefully you guys uh, stick around for those videos, and hopefully I stick some monsters with it, I'd love to break this thing in with a new 30, um, that's a 30 inch walleye, and I can even check it right here. So I can go, oh, there we go, right there, 30 inches. Would you imagine that? Time to bust out the ruler, some, get some good video of it, and get a replica made. Uh, that thing's got an, a hard water brother, or sister, whatever you want to say, coming. I'm going to get a replica made of the one that I caught this winter. If you guys go back through my ice fishing videos, it was my Green Bay fish. If you guys want to go check that one out, that was a wild ride. That was on a Tuned Up Customs uh, Bull Whip. That was my panfish rod that I actually caught that on. I caught that on that too, oddly enough. So maybe, <laughs> hopefully that's not like a curse and I have to catch it on my uh, Apex panfish rod. I'm hoping this Apex Elite from Tuned Up Customs is the one that does it for me. I have so many plans for this rod. So many plans. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out to you guys right away that I noticed, um, something I just want to kind of go over it with you guys if you guys are interested in getting one yourself. I'll obviously link these guys below. I always try to anytime I'm talking about any of their stuff. Uh, they help me out so much. Um, I basically got to <laughs> show my appreciation. That it's it's I'm so lucky to be able to work with somebody like uh, Tuned Up Customs. But one of the things that I didn't even know about, so... If you, I don't, I don't know how many of you guys have used nicer rod and reel setups, but this collar setup is actually metal. So this is a metal collar setup. So that's a metal seat, um, and it's got a dual ring. I'm not going to unlock it right now, but so this little one I'm spinning right here. There's this one that spins to slide the the actual seat part back to put your reel in. So that one goes down, and then you turn that one, and you turn them together. And it locks it so you have a locking ring so that uh, I'm assuming you wouldn't have to worry about that coming loose I'll let you guys know if it does come loose on me or anything like that but I I'm assuming that's why you would do that I've never had anything this nice before so that's uh that's a first um, obviously I got my Revo s10 on there right now it's got six pound test it's plenty for me to go get some uh, river walleyes on I, I can catch 10 pounders on six pound test. I got that big one this winter on four pound test, just so you guys know. Uh, anybody that's been around that saw that video, that was on four pound test on a panfish rod. Um, yeah, so six pound will be fine for me. I might upgrade it to eight pound, and then in the fall when they get really aggressive and real spunky, I might go up to uh, braid. I actually have a reel up there that I can put on here. 
that already has, uh, I, I think I run 25 pound braid with a floral leader, but that's jerk bait fishing. It's, it's for when fish crush it. And then on top of that, you always have a chance at accidentally catching a muskie or a big Northern pike when you're fishing those kinds of jerk baits and stuff for walleye. So I like to be a little bit over prepared and not under prepared, the under prepared. Yeah, I can speak kind of today. So six pound test would definitely go in the fall. Um, but I'm probably gonna, I might play with this all season long. You guys will see, if you guys want any kind of, uh, if you guys have anything you wanna see me do with this thing, other than give it to one of you guys, cause no, this is mine. You can get your own. <laughs> but if you guys have anything you wanna see me do with this, put that in the comments below. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of looking at the stuff. It looks like it's got decent rod guides. Uh, they, I mean, they're pretty nice. They got ceramic eyes on them. Uh, what else can I look at that you guys might know or look at? So it's a medium, medium light. So it's got a, a little bit of a whippy tip, but not much. So it's, it's got, I mean, for medium light, it's still a pretty decent rod. Uh, I guess that's medium light fast action, right? So that would that would make that tip a little bit more faster than normal. Yeah, so it's the Apex Elite 7.2 medium light fast. And then I said it before, but I'll say it again. It's good. For, they have the baits listed on here. So uh, 1 8 up to 3 8 ounce. So I can throw some bigger baits on here. I, I wanted to try, uh, if you guys stay tuned, I want to try some bigger stuff that I've never tried in the spring for walleye. Um, and I'm going to try and do it with this rod. Uh, if I do that, I'm going to be switching this reel out for the bigger reel with the braid on it. But for now, I'm just going to go try and get some, uh, well, I'll leave that up to you guys for the surprise. If you guys want to see me chase trophies or if you want to see me go peg some eaters so you guys can see that the eaters are running. Uh, I think there's actually a couple good spots right now that I can get on and, uh, get into them and yeah, this thing's going to do some work this year. So I hope you guys are just as excited as I am. I've, like I said, I've never had anything nice like this before. I've never had anybody believe in me this much that they would give me something so nice to use. So thank you, Tuned Up Customs. I'm very appreciative. All you guys, whether you buy something or not, go over to their webpage on Facebook, if you're on Facebook, and thank them for supplying me with stuff to fill your guys' entertainment. Because this is going to catch fish on film for you guys. And that's that's the big thing. That's I, I'll be able to film for you guys. And use great equipment doing it. So, thank you. I, I, I have to say thank you again. I'm a very appreciative person. And it's not going to register in my head until I land my first fish that this is actually my rod. Alright guys. So, now you see why I built that rack. When I did, I still have one spot right here on the bottom to fill <laughs> uh, and actually technically that's one of the few rods that's not tuned up so i have uh one two more rod spots so stay tuned for when those get filled hopefully not you know in the not too distant future i have some multi-purpose rods and actually that guy's got to go too so i actually have three spots <laughs> so in the future we have three extra spots for uh new rods to go and obviously we're gonna go with gear that i don't have or i haven't used hey do me a favor if you've made it this far i just thought about that so that's my big rod that i've been just using for my general purpose big fish rod um, obviously I can use my tuned up customs, uh, walleye rod right now for a lot of big fish, but I've been toying with the idea of getting back into using a bait caster. It's been a very, very long time, but tuned up customs does make a bait caster rod. And I've always wanted to like a uh, bait caster for cranking and frogging. So if you guys are interested in seeing me get out, mess around with the bait caster and learn all that stuff again because it's been so long i wouldn't even pretend to say that i know what i'm doing with bait caster it would just be a whole relearning experience so if you guys want to see me struggle <laughs> comment below if you've made it this far if you want to see me struggle with a bait caster because then i'll get a bait caster rod and i'll go buy a bait caster reel and we'll go through that journey together i guess <laughs> but i know for a fact that i i do love frog fishing and i do like cranking for bass and stuff like that um and other species that you crank for whatever you use a bait caster for so i do want to invest in one in the future but i mean it's up to you guys if you guys want to see me go through all that fun stuff comment below and we'll go off of that um 
So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Obviously, if you're not new here, you know what's up. But if you are new, can you please just remember to 